everyone this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United transfer news now and also latest Manchester United news bit of a change thought why not why not not doing anything at home anyway but as always guys thank you so much for the support on the channel so far it's been it's been great and I hope to uh, do these types of video especially there's no football every couple of days at least so my last video was uh, the top five reasons why we should sign Jaden Sancho Give it a watch. It was uploaded, I think, on a Tuesday, uh, if I'm correct. But yeah, give it a watch. It's, it's my opinion. But let's dive straight in, shall we? So <clears throat> obviously, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has come out and said a few things in regards to uh, the potential business that we could be doing, the season in general, etc., etc. I'm just going to read you out exactly what he has to say. Hope you guys can actually see it on the screen. There we go. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer claims Manchester United can exploit the transfer market after the coronavirus outbreak. The Norwegian has been finalising his summer plans with the club's transfer committee with Jaden Sancho, Jack Grealish and James Madison and Jude Bellingham, his leading targets. And despite football's finances being hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, which has seen the Premier League suspended indefinitely, Solskjaer insisted United have the money to take advantage when the game resumes. Football is going to get back to normality at one point, and it's very important we're ready when that, when that happens, he told Sky Sports. We want to be the best at everything, and of course now is a chance to spend more time. You discuss players, discuss plans, we've evaluated what we need. Of course, with the coaching staff, we looked at games, evaluated games, discussing on video calls like this. Then, the market. Who knows how the market is going to react to this? Who knows which clubs need to sell players? There might be just a situation there where you can exploit. And I know that we at Manchester United, we are one of the biggest and the biggest financially well off. I'm sure we are capable when we got, get back to normality that we can do the business that we want to. So, there you have it. <sighs> this is what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came out and said recently. It's, it's, it's the perfect time to kind of reflect on transfer dealings, potential targets, player developments. I mean, there's nothing else is going on. There's no football matches being played. There's no match preparations or anything of that sort. It allows ample time for the manager, the coaching staff, the hierarchy to get packages together, to discuss players, potentially even have some negotiations. God knows when the football will start, but when it does start, that's one thing. But when it does start, will the transfer window be open? If it's not, I reckon it's going to be a short-term transfer window at some point. But if clubs willing to do transfers um, and they are discussing it right now, so when the transfer does finally wind window does finally open, it should be an easy, easy way to sign players. There should be no long, long doubt negotiations. It's, I mean, any sort of long doubt negotiations should be happening right now over the past few weeks and beyond um, as there's nothing going on. But it's, it's interesting that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came out and said that, um, you know, football's going to go back to normal. Uh, we are one of the biggest clubs in the world, financially well off as well. Uh, they are discussing and looking at games of players, potentially. And um, it's interesting. It's going to be an interesting summer if we have one in the transfer window. Moving on to the next part of the news is um, uh, regards to a, a bit of an article around uh, Alexis Sanchez and uh, what uh, Ed Woodward has said. So basically this 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 uh, uh, sort of uh, article goes on to say that Ed Woodward is interested in marquee signings, some well established, you know, well into their peak, um, as is the case the reason behind signing Alexis Sanchez and paying him that much in terms of his salary. That has not worked out and it is still haunting us because he, he is still in our books. And that has kind of changed the stance of signing potential players. I mean, there was rumours around uh, Gareth Bale potentially coming back. But then again, he falls into the same bracket as Alexis Sanchez. And Ed Woodward is now cautious of signing these types of players. Uh, Sanchez has given United a problem. He's not good enough to keep with the Inter Loney scoring just once over at San Siro. And he's too expensive to sell to, with clubs deterred by the former Arsenal star's massive pay packet at Old Trafford. 
In recent times, United have been linked with both Bale and Griezmann amid their struggles at Real Madrid and Barcelona, respectively. But Woodward is likely unlikely to go for either player because of how disastrous the Sanchez transfer turned out to be. Bale's days at Real Madrid appeared to be numbered. And, I, and to be honest with you, this, this article, if it is true, I 100% agree. As much as we will like to see the likes of Gareth Bale at Old Trafford, uh, Anton Griezmann at Old Trafford, I mean, these are top, top world-class players' names, but I don't think they suit the philosophy of what we're trying to achieve. And given the past um, experiences in recent years, you, you look at Di Maria, Falcao uh, is another one. You look at, um, obviously, the latest one being Alexis Sanchez. It does not work out for United. Someone of that age bracket that player caliber coming in getting a massive pay and they don't, they just don't seem to care or perform they don't have the united dna and blood ideally i will still prefer a griezmann but if we're gonna support get a griezmann he comes with a package mentally as well not just the financially and i, I don't think Ole Gunnar social wants to go through that route i think um someone like Jaden sancho more more or so fits that mold you can say but let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you guys feel that United's transfer dealing, especially with big established stars, is is gone, is gone forever. Or do you think it's just a temporary sort of hold until we can get rid of Alexis Sanchez and get another marquee world class signing who can sell a lot of shirts because Ed Woodward loves that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we got Sergei Milankovic Savic. So this is according to uh, Sport Witness saying that. <clears throat> They've covered a week that uh, Manchester United apparently rekindled an interest in Savage. Um, he is almost like the perfect mould in replacing Paul Pogba. Good on the air, both feet, can dribble, powerful, stamina, strength. He's got a bit of a temperament. Um, <clears throat> so this is um, apparently gone up in gear. Our interest in 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 uh, um, in Savage. So. I'll, do, I'll just read it halfway through. This, of course, did the rounds in the tabloids, which means that made it way, way to Italy, where Correa della Sport have a big article on this United's interest, naming an English newspaper as the source, which isn't the case. We'll ignore that, however, because that interests us with what appears to be the information at the end. Um, this English is so bad, actually, but apparently um, <clears throat> there will be no discounts for Savage if he is was to come. They're asking for a minimum of 100 million euros. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind taking him as a replacement for Paul Pogba. Um, if Paul Pogba goes, there will be a massive void still to fill. Uh, yes, you've got the likes of Fred stepping up, McTominay stepping up, Matic doing a decent job. But beyond those three, there is no other central midfielders coming through. We do need cover. We do need world-class midfielders. Bruno Fernandes is not a central midfielder. He's more of an attacking midfielder. Plays in the number 10 position, so I'm not even counting him. But yeah, we are kind of light in that department. Savage, I'm a huge fan. I'm a big fan. He's still young. He's, what, 25? Uh, he's powerful. He, he's, he looks like he's suited well for the for the Premiership. And I wouldn't mind, actually, uh, having a, a pinch at him. But I think there are other priorities. I said that in my previous videos. Uh, other priorities as in um, the right wing definitely needs to be sorted I think a centre back definitely needs to come in um, I think if we can sort these positions out along with a, probably a backup striker because Igalo is not a long term um, then yeah we can we can go and kind of spend an extra bit of cash on a central midfield position assuming we get rid of Paul Pogba that's the news around Savage a uh, bit of a good news, uh, Timothy Fosu Mensa has uh, extended, uh, Manchester to have triggered an extension on uh, clause on Timothy Fosu Mensa's contract. Um, he's 22 years old, he's still young, he's a powerful right back. Um, his contract was due to expire, but um, they've been expen extended for, for one year. And um, I think if he can stay out of injury free, he's another player that can come into the fray become a decent player for us but that's around timothy for sumensa last but not least is manchester united want to sign james rodriguez i'm gonna read you guys at the article manchester united are still one or two players away from the truly becoming able to compete at the highest level it's all about getting the next few signings right which is something that Oligana seems to uh, uh, more than adept today a new name has been thrown back into the ring 
James Rodriguez. After besting on the scene at the World Cup way back in 2014, the Colombian stock has slowly declined during his time at Real Madrid. Apparently, he's still on United's radar though. The story comes from AS, who claimed that United want to sign the classy 28-year-old they will face stiff, stiff competition from Napoli. Rodriguez is predominantly an attacking midfielder, though he can play on the wing, which has been a problem position for United recently, particularly the right side. With just over one year left on his current deal at the Bernabeu, Real now feel that this is the time to cash in. Florentino Perez actually believes that Madrid-based Afi can still get a decent transfer fee for Rodriguez, despite recent struggles. So there, there, there you have it. This is the news around James Rodriguez. Uh, he's got just over a year left on his contract. Such an excellent player. I think he going to Madrid was a huge mistake. Destroyed his career outright. He's now 28 years old. He's got really one huge move left in him before his obviously body gives way. He's been linked with Manchester United. What do I think of it? Look, he, he's he's in. He fits into the signing of 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 potential signing of what I talked about earlier in the video. Gareth Bale, Antoine Griezmann, Alexis Sanchez. I think he's going to cost a lot. He's going to his wages are going to be a problem, and I don't think he's going to perform as well in the Premier League. I mean, he was struggling in the La Liga, and Premier League is so much more physical and competitive than La Liga. I, I don't think he, he's going to do well for us somewhere like Italy, Napoli, maybe will be great for him. But I think that boat has sailed such a long time ago back. I think if, if about three, four years ago you guys came to me and said we're, we're interested in James Rodriguez, I'll, I'll definitely 100% take him. Right now, as a 28-year-old, declining player will come with a huge wage packet. It's just another Alexis Sanchez. It, it, it's such a great name to see on the team sheet, but for the team, I think he's not going to be a good signing. Quickly have a look at his stats. He's played 13 times this season, scoring one goal and two assists. He can play on the right wing and an attacking midfield position. It's very average stats for a for a, 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 a declining player. I liked him a lot, especially when he burst into that World Cup. And I think all of us can remember, especially with his dance and everything, smiles. And then he made the jump to Madrid, which understandably for a player at that age, Madrid coming in, yeah, I'll jump on it as well. But I think Madrid do not have a very good track record of molding youngsters into world world class players i can't remember the last time where madrid kind of took on 18 17 18 19 20 year old and made them into world class players um they've spoiled the likes of odegaard james rodriguez and many others in the process there might be one or two correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's sad to see his his career go down like this his Definitely got one more move in him. I think he needs to move from Madrid, rekindle for the next three, four years, and show us what he is capable of. But that's it, guys. These are all the topics that I've discussed today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what you think about it. Do get involved, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next upload. And stay far, far, far.